A little over a year ago, I stumbled across a knife designer by the name of Snex. Snex was making this new version of a knife that he designed. It was a mini buster. I was really excited about it. I thought it was beautiful. And as a designer myself, I really value the appearance and the thought and process that goes into things. For me, this was a designer's knife, kind of like the James brand Elko. I feel like that was a specifically niche knife that really suited me. I actually miss that knife. I think I was gonna rebuy it. It was way better before they put this weird indented embossed brand. Ended up buying this mini buster knife for about $250. It's gorgeous. I love it. It actually has the ball bearing integrated into the frame lock, just like the Chris Reeves Sabenza 31. So I got this thing, but I wasn't totally in love with it. I know that sometimes when you push envelope and you make things a little different, it's not always perfect. And the pocket clip was really sharp and caught me, but it's beautiful. It definitely looks good and I like it for that. Anyways, he started making a new knife and he would upload different like kind of sneak peeks on it and its evolution on its Instagram. I was just really in love with it. It looked super fun, fidgety, and just gorgeous. And it got better and better over time. Then it finally came out and I was like, ooh, I can't wait to pick this up, but then it was sold out. And I kept missing the drops. And then We Knives actually saw the other videos I've made on the other knives and they offered a trade. So this is a review impressions and trade for this knife and they have nothing to say about it. It's just a honest impressions and review and I like it a lot. I can see how some people don't, but I like it a lot. First thing is it's really beautiful. I don't know another knife that looks like this or behaves this way or kind of is this simple in this beauty. I really, really like it. I think the speed holes on the handle could have been a little bit differently designed. I don't think that they should have been circular. I think they should have matched the thumb pick hole on the blade. So that was kind of a mirror or a some sort of shape play. I think that would have been a little cooler, but they're still cool. They're just, I think that there's a missed opportunity there. Overall, the knife design is gorgeous. I really, really love it. Second, it's weird. I'm not gonna lie, it's a weird knife. Like, it's not for everybody. There isn't many knives like this, and it's strange in certain small ways. You know, a lot of people aren't gonna like it, or they're gonna look at it as a collector's knife, not necessarily as their EDC knife. For me, I think it's a perfect EDC knife, but it is weird and has some quirks I wanna talk about. And it's because it really pushes the envelope. And when you do things that are different, you do risk having some things and that's what pushes evolution. You may not get, get it right the first time, but you have to do it the first time to have it done. One of the main things that's weird is the super lock. And apparently it's this extremely tight lockup that's a competitor or on par to some of the best lockups there is. I'm not a super nut on knowing the ins and outs of all the knives, but this is what's touted on the internet and I believe it. The more you push on the spine here, the more it locks in and tightens. So when you're pushing down, it really, really tightens up. But the super lock is neat. It's really cool. It means that you can just wash it and clean it and take it apart, dismantle it very easily if you have the right tools. It's a very, very simple design once you look at it, but obviously it took a lot to get it to be so simple. Now, as far as the pocket clip, I know everybody wants to know about that. It's weird. I personally love it because I'm a back pocket carry person. And I know that's weird. It probably came from the days where I used to like sling wires for a living and you know, I'd always be doing stuff overhead and just put things in my back pocket because it's a lot easier to actually access the back pocket than the front, in my opinion. So it's most comfortable for me to put tools in my back pocket and my wallet in my back pocket. And especially if you wear khakis, because it really, really just fits in there smooth and just blends in and disappears in the pocket. Now I see how some people wouldn't like it if it's in the front pocket. The blade is facing the pocket and a lot of people don't like that. If you twist it the other way, it kind of wants to undo itself. I get that, but to me, I'll carry it in both. I don't mind either of those, but for back pocket carry, I think it's a perfect knife. If you carry it in the front pocket and you take it out of the front pocket, you have to turn it around to open it. So it's this other step that you have to do 
when you front carry pocket and they should know about that. Another thing about this knife is it's extremely sharp, very, very sharp. I have cut myself so many times, about six times already, and it's because it's kind of this different kind of knife where, you know, I opened it, I tried to flick it open, and I flicked it too hard, and because your grip is a little different with this kind of lock, and what I was doing, it flew out of my hand. I've almost cut my foot open many times, but one time it hit my shin. Another time I did it and I tried to grab it, and then it slashed my, one of my knuckles. It's definitely a dangerous knife because it's sharp. It is the sharpest knife straight from the manufacturer. Just very, very sharp. Absolutely the sharpest knife in my collection. Now this super lock has this one thing that is really annoying, I will admit, where you push on it and it, after a while, if you play with it and fidget, it's gonna give you a dent, it's gonna give you a sore spot. And I was kind of pissed because I really love this knife, except for this one thing. It just kind of drives me crazy. I want to play with it more. I, wanna, I don't want to have this annoying sore spot. So I just went back to his Instagram and I noticed he actually kind of has fairly large or long fingers and he actually doesn't pull on the frame lock and I learned that he pushes on it. So I tried that. I found a grip where I push on it instead and it was a game changer. It didn't hurt. Nothing was a problem. And ever since then, I think it's been like four or five days since I found that out and I'm just like, oh yeah, all day. It's fine. I don't have a problem. So for me, that, that dent, that problem where people would complain, which there's jimping and just any kind of thing is valid, but there is a right way to do it. And you, you, you hook down, you push, push on it instead of pull and it's a game changer. So what do you think of this knife? I think it's really amazing. I like it so much that I am it's actually selling three of my knives because I know that this one will get so much more pocket time than those ever will. I won't ever choose at least these three knives. This one would always be chosen ahead. In fact, I'll, I'll start with another knife thinking for the day, oh yeah, I'll take a break. And then halfway through the day, I switch to this one. So it really suits me. I love how it disappears in the pocket completely. That flushness with the, the weird pocket clip on the spine of it. Man, I love that. I love that so much. It's actually one of my favorite things about it, which I just, you know, if you're back pocket carry or, you know, like if you're inside a suit jacket or something, like this thing is flush. It is so nice and slim. And then when it's in a hand, there's no hot spot. In one scenario, one grip, I'll get a hot spot, but I don't actually hold it in that grip. Only when I'm just fidgety, just appreciating it. I'm like, oh yeah, I feel it in the palm. But in real world use, I never hold it there. I'm pinching, I'm doing box cut thing, or I'm choking up, but I never push and choke with this knife. So the other day I was pushing really hard on something and I wasn't up here trying to grab and push it. I wasn't doing it like that because it would have been unsafe for me to do that. I was actually back here because it was safer and I had my finger on the spine just like this and holding it like this, having nothing here and nothing in the palm, it just blends right into the palm. I think this thing is fantastic. Second favorite knife right now, on par for first, but probably second, and it's probably gonna live at second favorite knife. Okay, anyways, let me know what you think of it. Until next time, cheers.